Very, very important. Okay? When a man, when a person is capable of being in uncertainties, mysteries, doubts, without any irritable reaching after fact and reason. Mr. John Keats. exercises that have always been very, very helpful towards being able to get into that state of mind. Certain kinds of viewpoints that you can take in order to be able to enter that state of mind. And it's uh, establishing a new relationship with the image. An image is that which presents an intellectual and emotional complex in an instant of time. I use the term complex rather in the technical sense employed by the newer psychologists such as Hart, though we might not agree absolutely in our application it is the presentation of such a complex instantaneously which gives that sense of sudden liberation, that sense of freedom from time limits and space limits, that sense of sudden growth which we experience in the presence of the greatest works of art. It is better to present one image in a lifetime than to produce voluminous works. Thus saith Mr. Ezra Pound. No superfluous word, no adjective which does not reveal something. Use absolutely no word that does not contribute to the presentation. As regards rhythm, compose in the sequence of the musical phrase, not in sequence of a metronome. Mr. Ezra Pound. Consider the way of the scientists rather than the way of uh, the advertising agent <coughs> for a new soap. The scientist does not expect to be acclaimed as a great scientist until he has discovered something begins by learning what has been discovered already. He goes from that point onward. He does not bank on being a charming fellow personally. He does not expect his friends to applaud the results of his freshman class work. Freshmen in poetry are unfortunately not confined to a definite and recognizable classroom, they are all over the shop. Is it any wonder the public is indifferent to poetry?
still considers himself very likable. Art is a fruit growing out of a man like the fruit out of a plant, like the child out of the mother, while the fruit of the plant grows independent forms and never resembles a balloon or a president in a cutaway suit. The artistic fruit of man shows, for the most part, a ridiculous resemblance to the appearance of other things. Reason tells man to stand above nature and to be the measure of things. Thus man thinks he is able to live and to create against the laws of nature, and he creates abortions. Through reason, man becomes a tragic and ugly figure. I dare say he would create even his children in the form of vases with umbilical cords if he could do so. Reason has cut man off from nature. Thus saith Mr. Hans Arp. 